All right, guys, so let's go over some of those questions that were at the end of the last episode regarding roots and exponents. So first off, we have 2 to the negative 4. So if you remember, if we have a negative exponent, all you need to do is take the reciprocal of the base of the exponent, which is 2, and the reciprocal is 1 half. And now since it's to the fourth power, we're going to have 1 over 2 to the fourth. That's because 1 to the fourth power is just 1. So that's why we just keep this as a 1 on top. And 2 to the 4th is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So we get 1 over 16. Next off, we have 3 over 4 to the negative 3. Now all we need to do is take the reciprocal again, since this is a negative exponent, and we get 4 over 3 to the 3rd power. And that means we get 4 times 4 on top, which is 16, times 4 is 64, over 3 times 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3 is 27. Which simplifies out to 2, 10 over 27. Next off, we have the square root of 25. Now, 25 is a perfect square, since 5 squared is 25. Next off, we have square root of 48. Now we need to simplify this out. 48 isn't a perfect square, so we need to get the factors of 48. So the factors of 48 are, uh, let's see, 2 times 24. Next off, we can simplify that to 2 times 2 times 12. Um, that can be further simplified to times 6, and then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Square root of that. Now what we can do is take pairs and bring them outside. So we have one pairing of 2, and we have another pairing of 2, which means we can bring 2 and 2 to the outside. 2 times 2 is 4, and the square root of 3. So that simplifies, square root of 48 simplifies to 4 the square root of 3. Next up, we have 9 to the 1 half exponent. Now, if you remember, when we talked about fractional exponents, the bottom number in the fractional exponent will tell you what root you're taking this space to. And since it's 2, it's the square root of 9. And since 1 is the top of the fractional exponent, it's to the first power, so we can ignore that. And we get the square root of 9, which simplifies to 3, since 9 is a perfect square of 3 squared. Next up, we have 64 to the 1 3rd power. Now, based on what we just talked about, we know that the bottom here of the fractional exponent tells us what level root we're taking the base to. And since it's 3, it's the cube root. So we get the cube root of 64. Because 1 up here tells us we take 64 to the first power, and that's just 64. So what cubed gets us 64? And that happens to be 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. Next up, we have 2 to the 5 over 2. So again, we know that this is going to be a square root problem. And it's going to be a square root problem of 2 to the 5th power. So we know that 2 to the 5th power means 2 times itself 5 times. Now we can hunt down pairs because this is a square root. So we have one pair of 2's here and another pair of 2's here, which means we can bring 2 times 2 to the outside. And we're left with 2 underneath the root. So we get an answer of 4 and square root of 2. So moving on to the next question, we have 5 to the negative 3 halves. So we know that a negative sign in the exponent means that we take the reciprocal of the base to the 3 halves. And now we still are left with a fractional exponent with a denominator of 2, which means we're taking the square root of this of 1 fifth to the third power, because we have a 3 up here. Now knowing that this is a square root and 1 fifth to the third power means 1 fifth times itself 3 times, we can take 
pair of one-fifths out, and that becomes one-fifth on the outside of the square root sign, and we're left with one-fifth on the inside. Next up, if you want to simplify this further, this is the equivalent of one-fifth times the square root of one over the square root of five using some of the properties that we went over in a previous exponents episode. Next up, we know that we can't have a, a root symbol in the denominator of a fraction. So what we can do is multiply this fraction by 5 times the square root of 5 over 5 times the square root of 5, right? Because this is the equivalent of 1. And so what we're left with is 5 square root of 5 on top, 5 times 5, which is 25. The square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5 again. So it's 5 times 5 times 5 which is 125. And this further can be reduced. 5 goes into 125, and we're left with the root 5 over 25. And the last question is 1 third to the negative 1 half power. So what we need to do is take the reciprocal, since it's a negative exponent, and we get 3 to the negative, or I'm sorry, 3 to the 1 half power, and that's just the square root of 3. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. If you found the video helpful, feel free to give it a like, and like always, leave any questions and comments below.